Welcome, my name is Dr Jason W Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people, and theologists help people with themselves and God. We've been studying Romans chapter 5 and it's a very interesting question because it borderlines on what's called a thing of universalism. That's where as everyone was included in, had, in Adam's sin, through Adam's sin everybody had in sin imputed to them and inherited it. What Romans 5 suggests, and you'll see this as we go along, the opposite it suggests that when Jesus died on the cross, righteousness was equally imputed to everyone as well. It's got that hint. There's a couple of verses in it that push that all-inclusive exchange when Jesus died on the cross. We found out that we're justified by faith in verse 1. In verse 5, we found out that the Holy Spirit's been given to us and he keeps us 24-7 with a sense of hope. We found out in Proverbs that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but the re resurrection is a promise. It's going to happen. We found out that Jesus died for evil people, not righteous people, which is an interesting thing because there's no one righteous, no, not one. So until you come to that point where you can realize that you need a somebody to help you with your sinful nature you'll never fully understand what jesus did but you can understand it through this because god demonstrated his own love toward us in that why we were still sinners why we couldn't have cared less christ died for us verse 8 and i'm going to in verse 9 it says, Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. So I'm going to say this confession and then I want you to say it. I have been justified by his blood and saved from wrath through him. Verse 9. For when we, and now verse 10, for when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son. Much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved through him. We can make a confession out of that, but I haven't got time. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. So, We've all received a reconciliation and we've received it and can rejoice in it because of what Jesus did at the cross, his finished work. Now it goes into a really complicated spread on sin and how Adam introduced sin. And then at the bottom of verse 14, it says that Adam is a type of Jesus. And there's, I've got some really rough videos on that. But in verse 15, everything starts to shift. Everything shifts. It says, But the free gift is not like the offence. For if by one man's offence many died. Now the key words here is many. By one man's offence many died. Much more by the grace of God. And the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. So it's the same many. This is where we're getting into this. Did Jesus... See, when we were born, we were involuntarily born into sin. And one of the big things about the teaching of the Bible is that the bottom line is it says you need to believe, even if it's as small as a mustard seed believe. But here it's saying that Christ has provided abundantly more than what Adam did through his grace, eternal life to all, not just 144,000 like the Jehovah Witnesses think. So we're going to finish with this prayer because I like my talks to be five minutes flat. But the free gift, it's a confession, you say it after me, but the free gift is not like the offence. For if by Adam's offence many died, 
much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to the many. So on the left hand you have what Adam done and on the right hand you had what Jesus done. And I tend to believe that God's mercy is a little bit farther stretching than what we would like to think. Amen. It's Dr. Jason W. Morrison again and I just want to thank you for watching the videos. If you've watched it on YouTube, subscribe and comment, maybe share it. If you've watched it on Facebook, like and comment and maybe share it. But I hope the purpose of this has been fulfilled in helping people feel in Korea about their issues with God for said being resolved and it's all settled. When Jesus said it was finished, it was finished. Till the next video, thank you.